Okay, this is probably one of the uh, most difficult ones for people to understand that come across from um, bitmap in imaging um, programs. Uh, Zara Extreme, Zara X um, are all vector programming um, and therefore it basically works in, in lines and shapes rather than painting in pixels. So um, we'll have a look at it anyway. Okay, so here's a photograph I've imported into Zara. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the size that um, I'm allowed to actually record these um, videos at is rather small. It's not the ideal size for actually recording this type of uh, routine, but I'll give it a bash. Okay, so there's the uh, original uh, a photo of pulled in of a cow. Um, it's on this layer here, original photo. Um, I've made it so it's not editable anymore. Uh, you can see it, if I click on that, you can't see it. If I click on that, you can see it. This one here, if I click on that, you can actually edit it and move it around, but I'm not gonna move it around. What I want to do now is make sure that that layer with the photograph is not edit editable. I'm gonna create a new layer, which opens this new layer gallery. I'm gonna call this uh, new layer um, drawing layer. Okay, and there we have a drawing layer, which is both viewable and editable. I'll just move that out the way now. We don't need that anymore. Now, what we're going to do now is use the shape editor tool. Shape editor tool is probably the most used tool by most people in ZRX. Um, what it actually is, it's set here to draw lines. You can set it there to draw curves, but I find it's best to draw it in lines. Um, it makes smooth joins rather than sharp joins, but in lines that doesn't really matter too much. And just uh, what I'll do is just click over here away from that. If I can click once and then draw along, click again, draw and carry it along, click again, click again. That's the, the type of tool that you can do with the shape editor tool. You can then, if you want, pull this as you go over the line, it changes to a little arrow pointer you can pull these lines out to any shape you want um, so basically that that's what we're going to do that's it's a bit like a pen tool but it, it's far more versatile than a pen tool and the majority of people you know, don't uh, w would use the shape of it at all so let's have a look first thing we need to do is uh, zoom in on this and again because this is so small it's very difficult to even get even when I zoom in it's I, I like to zoom in more than that, but that that's the best we can do at the moment. So, okay, S select the shape of it at all. Click here, click once, left click this is, click twice, click three times, click four times, not being fussy at the moment, click five times, click six times, click seven times. Okay, now just to show you, I can now start to bend this a bit. What I'm actually doing is drawing around the outline of the cow. Um, I've also got these little points here which I can pull around on like this. Shape editor at all, it takes a while to get used to, but it's well worth the effort because you can get very, very fast with it very quickly. Let's move this down a bit. So, as I say, what I'm doing is with the shape editor at all, drawing slowly around the outline of the cow. Don't worry too much, it doesn't have to be accurate, that accurate, um, because it's adjustable all the time. Um, what other programs tend to use for this, um, for this type of routine? Um, the bitmap editors tend to use uh, magic ones where you select the various colours and delete them until you're just left with the uh, shape that you want say uh, if you, you you can select all say the green colors and get rid of the grass and, and that, this type of thing um, never really use them a great deal myself I, I prefer to work in Zara um, and with this cutting around the edge I think you can get a far better shape in the end because you're actually you're actually in control of it 
and it's constantly editable um, which is one of the best features um, I'll just go quickly around say it's quite difficult to work with any real accuracy um, when you're only zooming in on this 300% with a with a small picture um, but you, you can get quite close towards the end um, you zoom when you zoom in more than this right now what happens I'm getting down towards the end where I'm going to join the lines if I, as I pull this line towards the end of that line, notice that the cursor will change to a little plus sign there. Take move it away so you can see it coming in, making a plus sign. There it is. Okay. Now I can zoom back out to 100%. Move that up a bit. And you can see that we've now got a shape of a cow. Um, what I need to do now is reopen the layers gallery and then click on the original photo so to make it editable again click on that one okay I'll move that back I'll get the selector tool the cow shapes already selected I'm also now going to shift hold down the shift key and click on the photograph and it says now that I've got two shapes on two layers so I've got the cow on the cow shape uh, that I've just drawn on one on layer on one layer and the photograph on the other then I go to arrange combine shapes into six shapes and there I have just a cow um, basically that's just a cow um, filled with a, a photograph of the filled with that photograph if I actually go to the um, fill tool and get a hold of this fill shape here I can you can see I can actually pull it round see that um, the whole of the photograph still in there it's just that the that shape is filled with cow. I'll just undo that bit so we're back to where we were. Um, earlier on, before I started the thing, I input, uh, imported a photograph of Ur's Rock. And I could now get hold of the cow. And I could put that cow on Ur's Rock. I could size him down if I want. Um, I have to move along here a bit. move this whole thing across there. one of the other features that you can do is to uh, apply feathering as well to that thing and at this thing it, it gets a bit difficult to see but it, it takes the edging off um, see if I can zoom in a bit closer uh, boop, 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 boop. There, um, without any feathering, it's there. But you can just by touching in some feathering, you just soften the edges of the of the cow. The other thing that's still the beauty of it is um, this shape is still editable. Um, I'll just zoom in a bit there, a bit more. Say so I. Want to readjust the shape of his ear? I can do that. I think I'm getting some green grass behind it, which I don't want. Just pull this in a bit, move it round. 
that is a dis error has disappeared but um, you can see it, it, it's very rapid um, and remains constant and editable all the time Just zoom this back out to 100 percent move this back over here a second and there you've got a cow that you've taken from one photograph and you've put on another photograph and it remains completely editable all the time anyway i hope you uh hope you enjoyed that and that's the end of the, this tutorial thank you goodbye